doing my vlog in here today because uh, someone's watching a film in the other room <laughs> the light's not in so good in here so it would be hard to see I've just gone for this box here number nine it's got a, it's not a full actually it's not full uh, I took a few comics out of here put them in another box uh, it's gonna need some sorting at some point it's got mainly green lantern a few aquaman but I'm probably gonna take the aquaman out and put more green lanterns in there because I've got a box of green lanterns uh, anyway let's show you what's in here so a few green green lantern there's Mosaic, John Stewart's the, the lead in this one. I've got to say, I thought this was, wasn't a very good wasn't a very good run. I found it quite boring, actually. Not an awful lot went on in it. I didn't think so, anyway. It didn't really uh, resonate with me, this story. The, the main concept was quite good. There was like, um, the Mosaic was a planet where bits of other planets had been taken and sort of sewn into a patchwork quilt or mosaic, if you like, of, uh, you know, different uh, societies, different civilizations trying to, well, you know, small stolen parts of different civilizations trying to live side by side. And he was trying to govern over them all and, you know, stop them from committing crimes against each other and you know, just generally being an ambassador and so forth. The yeah, concept was good, but I just found the execution, the storytelling to be a little on the dry side. Maybe I'll get around to reading it again one day. But the first read through, I found a bit of a chore. <laughs> the art's not the greatest either. It's that, I'll take it it's 90s. Yeah, early 90s, not so much goodness, but yeah. I know John Stewart's a lot of people's favourite uh, Green Lantern because a lot of people know him from the cartoon. The cartoons was if you sort of first heard of Green Lantern from the cartoons, you thought John Stewart was the Green Lantern. But for me, it'll always be Hal Jordan because that's all I read as a kid. I didn't read that many of him to be honest. I didn't get huge amounts of Green Lantern, but uh, it's a while before I learnt about Guy Gardner and uh, and. Um, John Stewart and of course then we had I suppose the one I read the most really was Carl Rayner but to me he was the new Green Lantern he wasn't he wasn't the original and so I it was how that I I liked even though I probably did read more of Kyle because I had the full run the first 50 issues was uh was Hal Jordan wasn't it and then uh when Kyle took over oh right, here's a couple of annuals anyway some Green Lantern annuals that one was Elseworlds this one is year one but this is when Carl Rayner's in charge by the looks of it, although it has got Hal on there as well. It would appear. Sorry for the glare. Uh, Legends of the Dead Earth from 1996. An imagination of uh, like a green lantern in the future when the earth is, well, dead practically. <laughs> uh, green lantern plus ray. DC Comics Presents. This was the tribute to Julius Swartz. And it looks like Julius Swartz is uh, flying off there. It looks like, I don't know if it was originally based on him, but it looks a bit like him. It's, uh, Green Lantern selling power rings. <laughs> power rings for sale. Uh, Brian Bolland doing their take on the, I'm not sure who the original cover was from. Gil Kane, maybe the original one of this cover. Oh yeah, after Kane. It says on there, Bolland after Kane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Green Lantern, Silver Surfer. I'm sure I'm calling him Bolland now. They always used to call him Boland. Boland. Brian Boland. That's what I'm going with. Uh, well, who cares? <laughs> uh, Secret Origins, starring the Golden Age Green Lantern and Creeper. And then we have a Green Lantern and Poison Ivy Secret Origins. Don't kiss her, don't let her kiss you, Green Lantern. That's how she kills people. Or it takes their minds. 
Uh, Green Lantern Sentinel. Oh, they, uh, there's this number one there. I just realised there's three in this in this bag. Number two is behind number one. <laughs> That's right, because um, Sentinel, with the original Green Lantern for a while, went under the name of Sentinel, didn't he? That's his daughter Jade there on the back. There you go, Flash, Green Lantern and Flash, Faster Friends, part one and part two. Green Lantern Circle of Fire, Dark Conception. And he teams up on this one with different people. Here he's teaming up with Atom. Not sure who the lady is on that cover. Uh, Green Lantern and Power Girl. And whatever different costumes there, yellow and white costume. And then this one is quite interesting Green Lantern and Green Lantern. And this was another Green Lantern from Earth, but she never, I think she must be from an alternate hyperspace. Earth or something like that. I think she was a Russian cosmonaut, if memory serves me correctly. So she's the first female Green Lantern of Earth, of our sector, I believe, um, that's been shown in the comics. Before that, um, Cruz, is it Jennifer Cruz? Jennifer, I can't remember now. Or is that an actress? I can't remember now. <laughs> I'm getting my names mixed up. But uh, yeah, so she was the first female Green Lantern of Earth. Uh... Firestorm and Green Lantern. I think it's different Green Lanterns as well. It's Green Lantern. This is uh, Stell. Is it something, something Stell? That, that guy, I think. At least he looks like him anyway. The uh, the Robo Green Lantern. And there's a, a Green Lantern of Adam Strange. That's obviously a, another Green Lantern from another world as well. She's looking pretty freaky. I think it was lots of Green Lanterns from different dimensions. I can't remember now. Uh, here's the, the final one, or number two, because these are all number one. These are all put as number one, and then, then this is number two. So you think you're circling fire number one, then you do these little, little team ups, all down as being number one, and then you had the circle of fire two, the closing bit to the story. Right, got some towers of the Green Lantern Core. One. Is it Gibbons cover? No, it's Boland. Boland. However, I say it. <laughs> Boland again. And yeah, and again. Cool covers. That's three parts of the Green Lantern Core. And then there's some Green Lantern Core annuals. Number one. I should say tales of the Green Lantern Corps annual is number one. It's annual number two. Abin Sir at the front line there by the looks of it. Number three, annual tales of the Green Lantern Corps. And on the back here I've got a Green Lantern, a thousand and one Emerald Knights. It's one of those Elseworld tales. Where the lantern of the uh, Arabian Nights uh, stories is is like uh, likened to the Green Lantern lantern, obviously. <laughs> right, Emerald Door number two. Emerald Doom 2, number 2. <laughs> and there's just a flyer in there that I uh, bought, must have bought the comics from some, some comic shop. Emerald Dawn number 3. 
Sinestro's back in back in town. Beware my power, human, and prepare to die. Uh, number four. Number five. Number six, the trial of Sinestro. I can't remember this Emerald Dawn 2. Was it another retelling of his origin? I can't even remember. Right, Green Lantern Special. Number one. Green Lantern Special. Number two. We we'll do all the Green Lanterns. And then next, tomorrow I'll do the Aquaman. Uh, brightest day, blackest night. Looks like the original Green Lantern is facing off against Solomon Grandi, looks like there. And then we have the Flash plus Nightwing. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is doing in this box. Uh, probably I don't know where else to, I, I, I suppose I could have put it with me Flash, I could have put it with me Nightwing, but uh, for some reason it's in here with the Green Lantern. Right. Uh, Green Lantern, the new core. And part two. Trying to get it so it's not so glary. Right, and lastly we've got the uh, the Green Latin Core Quarterly. Nice square bound ones. Um, Ranger Sly was saying how he likes these square bound books. He liked the JLA Quarterlies that I showed yesterday. This is the Green Latin Core Quarterlies. They are again good stories. Interesting stuff. Lots of different self-contained stories. It's always good, good to read. Okay, well, this, hold on. If I turn that around, no, that's not what's reflecting. I thought that was reflecting. It's not. It's just must be light from above. Nice dinosaur there. <laughs> the death and birth of a hero. Can't say I recognise who it is. Uh, the Harley Quinn unleashes the fury of Alan Scott. There you go. It's a nice costume, I must say. <laughs> right, and the lastly, seven and eight of these quarterlies. I think you, this one was a magic user, um, Green Lantern. Unlock the door to fear. And lastly, it's Jack T. Chance, who we saw in the first uh, issue, I think. Uh, there was a new Lantern introduced there, facing off against Lobo. Uh, Jack T. Chance was a bit of a... Um, Bit of a hand solo type. I think he's a bit of a smuggler, a bit of a ne'er do well, but he was in charge of a really rough area. Um, so he, you know, he uses slightly underhand tactics, and he's not—he's not like a—he's a rogue. He's a lovable rogue. <laughs> I think that was the how they played him anyway. I can't remember now. It's been a while since I read it, but yeah. So that's a few more Green Lantern books for you. I've got a couple of series of Aquaman uh, to show you tomorrow. Okay. Right now, I'm going to shout out a new channel that um, Jambo just introduced me to today. Actually, Jambo messaged me or commented on one of my videos. It's annoying you can't message each other on YouTube, isn't it? But he um, he commented on one of my videos, told me about a new channel called Lifelong Comic Fan. I just subbed him up myself, watched a couple of his videos, left a couple of comments. Uh, I was the second subscriber, so only one person before me subscribed. That was obviously Jambo. So, you know, 40, 50 people, whatever, watch this video. I know not everyone watches it to the end. <laughs> but all you people in Premiere watching it now, go and sub this channel. 
the lifelong comic collector. And if anybody uh, who watches subsequently watches more than five minutes and happens to watch this end bit, go and sub up lifelong comics uh, fan. And yeah, go and show him, go and show him some uh, some YouTube loving. Anyway, so I might have here till tomorrow. Uh, this has been bloggy 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 blog number one hundred and two. <laughs> uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm a bit tired today. You can probably tell by my by de my demeanour, my not so up and uh, up and at and attitude. Anyway, talk to you soon, people. And until the next time, may all your news be good news. Oh, sub the lifelong comic guy. Yeah, go and sub him now. The link's in the corner and down below in the description. Give him a sub, give him a comic pump and all that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, this is going on too long. Uh, got nothing to say. Just go and sub him now. Yeah, good idea.